more. Hallelujah. You see, Leb, uh, uh, you see, Sarah was very important. Well, it's the mother. It's the mother of all nations. Sarah well, is the mother of all nations. You are the mother of all nations too. So we thank God that God who created us as a, a female. We honor because we call the nation. We call the president. Without a mother, there's nothing you can do. A mother is the, is the womb that calls, calls, calls people, calls the, the very men who treated us like second hand. We have to honor our mother. We have to honor our parents. We have to honor our mother. Those people who have their mother, their life, they have to honor them and respect them and thank them and thank them. Some of us, we didn't have mothers. We never have that kiss of our mother. We never sit together with our mother to teach us and talk to us. We grow in, like me, I grow with my sister. My, my sister is the one who raised me up. So I didn't enjoy my mother. I, I, I never see my mother. I didn't I have, I was, I was not with my mother. So my, a woman, my sister, was taking care of me to raise me up. So we thank God that, we thank God, I thank God for my sister. Also, I thank God for my mother who gave me birth. Although I didn't get chance to have her, I didn't get chance to, to, to sit together with her. But all in all, I still thank God and I thank my mother who gave me birth. So we thank God, we give God glory, we, we pray, I pray that God will help mothers. There are some mothers who are single, struggling with raising up their children, and, and, uh, and they are being abused, raped, but we thank God. We thank, we have to honor our mothers, we have to honor mothers, we have to thank God for their life. Hallelujah, praise be the name of Jesus. We thank God. You can see Rebecca, pure Rebecca, the, the, the mother, the wife. Rebecca was the wife of Isaac. Like her mother in law Sarah was a parent. When she, when, when her husband Isaac prayed for God, God opened Rebecca's womb and, and she gave and she conceived and gave birth to a twin, Esau and Jacob burning age the during the an age where a woman were tropically medically they cannot give birth but you still rebecca rebecca was able to give birth so a woman is very important in, into the kingdom of god so we have to honor them and respect them it's an honor we have to honor especially this time we honor them and we pray god that god protect the women wherever they are all over the world god protect them I have a video that I prayed for the women, and I thank God that God, God will favor women. God will favor women. Women will be favored in the name of Jesus. Those people who are, who are, who are abusing women, we will issue a curse, and God will charge them. Because women need respect. Women need honor. Women need respect and being honored. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. Women need love. Women are looking for love. They need somebody to love them. They are looking for somebody who can comfort them. The women need love. They need honor. They need respect. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank God for the women. Hallelujah. You are so good, God. God, we love you. We, we love you so much. We love you. We love you, God. We thank you, God. Father God, in the name of Jesus. I want to thank you for the women. I pray that God, my God, as they are celebrating today, we give all the glory, Lord. We pr I pray that divine favor fall upon women. Some women are going through some difficulty, but God, you are a God who created them. You are a God who, who, who loved them so much. Therefore, my God, my Father, I pray the blood of Jesus. I pray that God Almighty, I cover the women wherever they are, where they are struggling, what they are going through, God. I cover them with the blood of Jesus. My Father and my God, in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, I thank you that God, even the mother of Moses, she, she rescued herself. The mother of Moses, she, res she rescued herself.
to protect her, uh, to protect her, her son, to protect her son Moses from dying. When, when the president, when the, the king issued a decree to kill all boys, but the mother decided to hide Moses, risk a risk whereby she could be found and be killed. But the mother, the mother of Moses, was, was the one who under, who under but, uh, appreciated mother in the Bible. Yet she also showed tremendous faith in God to avoid the massive slaughter of Hebrew spoils. She, she, she set her baby a draft in the Nile, in the Nile liver, hoping someone would find him and raise him. God so worked that her baby was found by Pharaoh's daughter. Now the mother of Mary, the, the mother of Moses, the mother of Moses, her own sons, nurse went and nursed nurse her, own, her, her own baby. God uses Moses mightily to free the Hebrew people from their 400 years bondage. You see, mother, a slave and take them to the promised land. Although little is written about, about this, the mother of, 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 the mother of, 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 the mother of Moses, her story speak powerful to mothers of today. Because mothers, their, God has given them wisdom. Mothers, they protected their babies. Mothers protected their children. Like now, when, when this woman, the mother of, the mother of Moses, she decided to disobey the rules of, of Pharaoh and rescue herself. If she was to be found, she was to be killed. She prayed God and believed that God, you will be able to protect my son. And that's what she did. So mothers, they, they risk, always their own risk. They are risk of raising their children, protecting them. Nothing will happen to them. The, the mother, the mother of Moses didn't know that Moses was going to deliver the children of Israel from the bondage of 400 years, that the children of Israel were in bondage. The mother of, of, of Moses, she was no idea. She didn't know that Moses would be a deliverer. That's why mothers, you don't know what you are carrying, you don't know what you are having. When your children will grow, you will, it is when you will know who they are. Therefore, mothers, we need to, we need to pray and protect them wherever they are. I pray for mothers. I pray for the leaders who are mothers, leaders, women leaders. I pray for you right now in the name of Jesus, and I pray that God will protect you. God protect you wherever you are, because you are a mother who knows how to protect. The mother who who rescue, because the father of Moses was not. I don't know where the father was. But Miriam and his brother, Aaron, was there. So God delivered Moses. And the, the men were, were not taking care. They didn't know what to do. We, we see it's examples, a good mother, mother who was struggling. They are the ones who, who were going to, to look for, to call the baby. Like, for example, we have a mother called Hannah, presented her a son Samuel to the priest Harry. Here I. You see, Hannah, she was a barren too. And she prayed God. God, God here uh, answer. God answered her and gave her a son. And uh, her son was Samuel. The priest. The first the, the, the priest. When when Saul was uh, was when Saul was a king. He is the one who anointed Saul. You see, Samuel become a king. And the mother got this Samuel in a mysterious, in a miracle. All these three women, I'm telling you, they are the women of miracles. That if they were, they were not there, we could not even us be here. They are the ones who did the good job. We love them, we thank them. These women, Hannah prayed and God gave gave her son a prophet. Hannah, the mother of Samuel, the prophet, Hannah's story is one of the most t touching in the entire Bible. Like, uh, like several other mothers in the Bible, they knew what it meant to be server 
wrong years of barrenness in Hannah's case. In Hannah's case, she was a cruelly turned, turned by her husband's other wife. The other wife were laughing at her, mocking her, saying, you barren woman, you are nothing. You only know how to eat. But Hannah trusted God. But Anna never gave up on God. Finally, her heartfelt prayers were answered. She was give birth. She gave birth to a son, Samuel. Then did did something entirely self set, set, self selfless to honor her promise to God. God favored Anna with five more other children bringing great blessings to her life. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We thank God. We thank God. We thank God for Anna. That Samuel came out as a prophet. Bethsaida, oil painting on a, a coven. Bethsaida. Bethsaida. Bethsaida, the wife of David. Bethsaida was the object of King David's last. David even arranged to have her husband, Hora, the high Ivet, to be killed, get him out of the way. God was so displeased with David's action that he struck dead the baby from the, the union in the spite of heartbreaking circumstances. Bethsaida reminded loyal to David that the next son, Solomon, was loved by God and grew up to become, to become Israel's greatest king from David's line could come to Jesus, the savior of the world, and Bethsaida. You see how, how it is. God arranged Although it was painful and it was very bad for what David did. And this woman, a woman was bathing, taking shower. And here is the king who saw the woman. And, they, and, and you know, this time the king, the king sent his army, they, 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 they went to the war. And now the woman was bathing. I don't know how the bathroom was. And then the, 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 the king saw the woman naked. And then the woman, the, the king said, wah, 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 wah. What a kind of a mother is that? Through, an, through his nest, last, he had a, called Bethsaida and he had a, a sex intercourse and Bethsaida conceived, conceived a king where our Lord Jesus Christ came from, Solomon. You see, it was bad. It, was, it meant somebody to die. The husband died. Yeah. But Bethsaida, she didn't give up. She said, okay, something has happened this. I am not going to abort this child. I'm not going to do anything. I will be the lawyer from, the, from day one as I did. I have seen I've done something wrong, but God, who is able to forgive, forgive me and forgive my, my husband, who is David, and forgive us. Now, now horror is dead, is gone. So now God, forgive us. Why did God do, do use Bethsaida to have the King Jesus? Why? Why? Why was it? God has a good plan for women. You might be rejected. You might think that you have sinned, you have done something bad. But God has good plans for you. You don't know you will be the, the, the mother of the next president of USA. You don't know if you are the mother of the Queen of, of the Queen of England. Yes, things happen. Mothers curse queens, kings, princes, curse ministers, presidents. Yeah, and all these. I'm I'm talking this because of the mother. Don't reject yourself, mothers. Mothers love yourself because you are the you are the one who takes care of everything at home. You are the ones who takes care of the baby. You are the one who's who knows everything 
and at home at home now god look at the heart of Bethesda and god know god knew that this woman she will be used to produce a king a savior we thank women we honor them we thank god god of god god who is god who is a perfect god god with his own plans beside this he used david the Bible says David is God's own heart. A man of, of, of God's heart. You see how God loves David. Beside what David did, but God still using him and love him and honor him. And the, until, until he had to use him. Does it mean there was no other women God could use apart from Bethsaida? You see, God has plans for women. God has plans for mothers. Beside what you have done, you have been, you have, you have, you have, you have, you have done so much bad stuff. But God still loves you. God is looking a woman who is broken heart, who humble themselves, and God will use them. Look at the, the, the we have the mother of Jesus, Hallelujah, Mary. We have we, we have Elizabeth. Hallelujah. Mary, the mother of Jesus. Mary, the mother of Jesus. Mary was the most honorable mother in the Bible. The human mother of Jesus who saved, who saved the world from, from its sin. Although she was only a young, humble, a humble lady. You know Mary, when angel visited her, I think she was between 15 years or between 15 and 17, 15 to 18 years. She was she was a young woman. She was not really she was engaged with Joseph. And now the angel visited her and told her that Mary, you will have a baby. You will conceive. Mary, she was shocked. She said, How? How? How can I it happen? But Mary responded and said, yes, let it be as you have said. You see, Mary carried the, carried the, the Savior, our Savior, Jesus Christ. So the Holy Spirit made Mary pregnant. And Mary was carried as our Savior. That is why you want to see the woman is very important. A mother is very important. Jesus became the mother. The, the Mary became the mother of Jesus. God is so good. Hallelujah. Although she was only a young humble, Mary accepted God's will for her life. She suffered. She suffered shame and pain, yet never doubted her son for a moment. Mary stand as highly favored by God. Shining example. You know, when she was conceived, she was disgraced. You know, people could talk. People would say, because this man, Joseph never met Mary. They were just, she was just engaged. And here is a woman bringing her. So it was very difficult for Mary and even the parents. She was interviewed, interviewed upon interview. She was asked question upon question. Who bring her to you? Let, bring this man to kill them. Who give you, who bring her to you? You know, the, during those days, if a woman be, be found, Vocation or doing sleeping with a man, he will she will be killed, even the man will be put to death. So the, the people were asking Mary, Mary, tell us who brings you to kill to kill the person. Joseph was mad. Joseph said, Mary, what happened, Mary? What happened? What disgrace are you doing to me? The same thing that is going on to women. Yeah, women are being disgraced, women are being treated like second hand. They even they are killed. They are being abused so much. So during the time Mary was pregnant, until the angels, until God has to deal with them. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you for our mothers. We thank you for the mothers that carried us. We thank you, Lord. We, I pray the Lord, my Father, in the name of Jesus, God, God, deliver the mothers. Heal the mothers wherever they are. 
Father God in the name. It is the mother who suffer when the child is sick. It's the mother who, 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 who feels the pain of a baby. God, my Father, I thank you, Lord. We honor the mothers. We honor the mothers, God. I pray that God, hold, I pray wherever the mother are, I pray for them, my God. I thank you, God. I give you the glory. I give you honor, God. Thank you, my Father and my God. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Thank you, fell much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm coming back. 8 o'clock, I know many people, right now, most people that are in the church in Africa, some parts they are on the church service, and I thank God that God is good, and I'm coming back. Thank you so much, my friends. Thank you for joining. Honor mothers, we pray happy, happy Mother's Day. We thank the mothers. We honor them. We respect them. We lift them up. In the name of Jesus, I pray that God will protect you, will protect mother as a mother, and you are the mother of your mother, your children, and the children, your children.